Hello everyone. If you want to collect information about customer info, market research and healthcare settings or financial data, then creating a data entry form is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be also used in managing employee data, including their personal details, employment history, performance evaluation and live records. So this is Jihad Riyanjim from Excel Amy, and today we'll learn several methods on how to create data entry form in Excel. So the first question occurs, what is the data entry form in Excel? A data entry form helps us conveniently provide a means to enter one complete row of information in a table without scrolling horizontally. It is quite evident that it makes data entry quite closer and easier than ever before. It lessens the possibility of putting information in the wrong column in case of do not need any kind of sophisticated or custom features. So we'll be using it just for the greater help of our data sheet. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data cell a bit. At first, we have the date in B4 cell and the name of the project manager in the D4 cell. We have the name of the employees, their designation, entry time, exit time and working hours in column B, C, D, E and F. So we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 to describe the whole tutorial. Without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be using the quick access toolbar to create a data entry form in Excel. At first, go for the B6 cell, press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard to open the create table dialog box. Look correctly if the data area have been selected correctly or not. Tick on my table has headers and click OK to convert it into a table. After that, you can easily modify the color and the size according to your wish. After that, we'll be going for the form option, but we don't have it in here. So we'll be adding it to it. So at first, we'll go for the menu bar and press on the Customize Quick Access Toolbar. In this section, we'll find the More Comment section. If we click on it, then you'll see the Excel Options dialog box will get open on the screen. Here, at first, in the Choose Comment section, you'll be choosing All Comments. So we'll select the All Comments here. And after choosing the All Comments, now, we'll be searching for the form option as we're trying to get the form option in the quick access bar. After choosing the form option, you need to go for the add and now at the right side, you've got the form in the quick access toolbar. Press OK to get the form option here in this section. If you look correctly, then you have got the form option in the menu bar. Now, go for any data and select the form option you have just created. Now you'll easily see that you have got the created entry form. In the create a data entry form, we'll always have the first result in the first section. If you want to go for the next data, then go for the find next option. It will take you to the second data. If you click on it again, then it will take you to the third data. But suppose you want to go in the previous section. So you'll go for the find previous and it will take you to the second data here. Suppose now you are trying to delete a certain row. Suppose we're here to delete the second data. So we'll go for the delete feature and press on it. And after that, we'll be pressing the confirmation here as the Microsoft Excel is asking display record will be delete permanent or not. So we'll press OK and it will delete the result permanently. Now we need to edit a certain data. At first, we'll be going for the data where we want to change the form. So we have gone for the second data and now we are trying to edit the entry time. Here we have written the 846, but now we want to go and make it 946. So I'll change the data and write it the actual data and press the enter button. Now at left side, you will see that it has converted from 846 to 946. So that's how we can easily use the quick access toolbar to create data entry form in Excel. In our new method, we'll be utilizing Microsoft Forms to create 
data entry form in Excel. At first, go for the OneDrive and here you will find the new option. Select Forms for Excel and now you have to name it. We'll name it as Form Survey. So we'll write it name survey as the name and click create option. Now you will see you have a form survey page here. At first you need to go for the questions and press add new to get the choices here. You have text, rating, date, etc. choices. As we are trying to get the form then we'll create the text option here. Now you need to enter your questions in this section. Suppose here you want to ask what is your name then you will write down here. After that if you want to go for the new question then again go for add new and here again you will find the text option. Next time you can easily do your second question here that is what is your designation? What is your designation? You can fulfill your questions like this. After fulfilling everything, now you have got your perfect questions in this section. Suppose you want to get the responses, then go for the responses here. And here you have nothing in this section because you have not collect anything yet. But now, suppose if you want to collect responses, then you'll go for the preview section. And now here you have your responses. Now easily go for this section and here you'll find your name. Suppose in this case, I write down my name as Jihad Rian Jim and after that I'll go for designation which is the content developer content developer in the next section I have age which is 22 and now I have the total working hour so which is 8 hours so I'll write down 8 hour in this section and press the submit button now it has already submitted my response and it has taken the submitted section if you want to go the back, then go here and now here you have the responses and you've got one response here. It is showing us the responses in this section, but you need to get it done in the Excel section. So I'll select the open in Excel section to have the OneDrive open Excel section. Now you will see that in the Excel section, you have got the ID of one. Here you have got the start time, completion time the email I have used and now in the name and your name section. You can easily go for the right side and see that it have got the perfect result. Use several IDs and several responses then you'll get the several forms here in this case. So that's how you can easily utilize Microsoft Forms to create data entry form in Excel. Now I want to show you something special. I want to create a data entry form in Excel with the drop down list. To do that, we have the name and the verdict and their verdict options in column B, C, and E. Now go for the column C from C5 to C9. After that, go for the data tab. Here in the data tools, select the data validation and it will open the data validation dialog box. In the settings section, you have the allow section. Here you have many options in this list. We can choose any of them, but as we are trying to get the drop down, so we'll go for the list option. As source, we'll select the verdict options, which is in the E5 and E6 cell. Press OK, and now you have got your perfect drop down list. Now choose anyone between going or not going. I'll select going for the first case. In the second case, I'll also be selecting going. But in the next case, not going. In the next case, not going. And now it is going. So that's how we can easily create a data entry form in Excel with a drop down list. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.